Hello, my name is Mickey Antovich and I serve as the Assistant Dean of Students and Director of New Student Services. We recognize that this transition to being a Berkeley student is a pretty big deal and there's been a lot more going on in your world and in the world around us. I hope that in the next few minutes, um, I can provide you an overview of what your student has experienced over the past few months, what they, they can expect during Golden Bear Orientation or GBO, and how new student services will continue to support them beyond this time. So what we're, we will review the following. I'll have an introduction to the new student services team, what outreach from our team and other campus departments have done over the past few months, some pre-Golden Bear orientation experience, that's Golden Bear advising and Golden Bear prep, and finally, what's happening for Golden Bear orientation, or GBO. So at Berkeley, we believe in community and the value of students. New Student Services is only be able to provide support to your students because of our awesome team. So first is our professional staff team. We have five full-time professional staff and one graduate student who's been working year round. Six incredible student coordinators who've been working on Golden Bear Orientation since September 2020. Their leadership is indispensable. 51 orientation mentors and over 500 orientation leaders. Each of these students has gone through a tremendous amount of training. Owing orientation leaders volunteer their time and serve as the first point of contact for your students. During GBO, your student will be in a small group led by two orientation leaders. OMs help supervise and train the orientation leaders and serve as the behind the scenes crew for GBO programming. And finally, our representatives or reps. These six students have been answering all calls, emails, and DMs from you and your student since April. They have all served as either OMs or OLs in the past. We couldn't serve you without them. Part of our goal is to connect students to resources outside of new student services and introduce them to the systems that Berkeley utilizes. Much of our outreach is focused on this principle. We outreach in a variety of ways. Cal Central, the website is a landing page for much of student life. On the site, students review their financial aid, enroll in classes, and follow the list of tasks that helps them transition. Social media, NSS has been increasing our outreach efforts for the past year. While we want to share information, we also want to share student stories. Emails, Berkeley heavily relies on emails as the main form of communication for students, staff, and faculty. We recognize that on top of emails, a new student would normally receive in the months leading up to the start of the first semester, there were significantly more this year. And then virtual office hours, something that our team has been doing to just provide another so uh, source or a way for your student to, uh, to connect with us. Golden Bear orientation is one part of the Golden Bear experience. The next two slides summarize the first two components which your students engage with over the last two and a half months. Note that both of these co components have been virtual for the incoming class for the past five years. This wasn't, process wasn't new in 2020 or in 2021. Beginning in June, your students received access to Golden Bear Advising, an online module meant to introduce them to academic life at Berkeley, connect them with their academic advisor, and prepare them for course enrollment, which occurred in July. After students enrolled, they were given access to Golden Bear Prep. Golden Bear Prep focuses on life outside the classroom and is meant to introduce the many resources, opportunities, and expectations of Berkeley students. Now for Golden Bear Orientation, or GBO as we like to call it. Fall 2021 will be our fifth year of the Golden Bear experience. And like those before, it will be completely different. I wanted to share a few reasons why GBO looks the way it does before diving into a sample schedule. First is equity. GBO should be built in a way that allows all students to participate. Orientation should not just be for those who have access to housing, um, live near campus, secure a student visa, or no dependent care needs. Planning. It takes time to plan GBO. There's over 9,000 students. We recognize that there would be and continue to be changes in large scale events in California. That being said, a fully in person GBO schedule requires the use of all campus spaces, meal locations, and staffing of other sources at 100% capacity. Historically, we'd have to host events multiple times just to meet the needs of the incoming class. Concerns about reduced capacity, adjusted loading were all factors that we couldn't wait on to make a GBO schedule. Transition. We have to acknowledge that the incoming students are not the only ones experiencing a transition. NSS has the privilege and responsibility of connecting new students to the entirety of campus, but many of those services are still figuring out how they're going to provide and offer services for this upcoming year. We needed to give ourselves grace and remember that GBO is the first real big event of the year and that campus environment um, of being in person. Socialization. 
we cannot underestimate the value of human connection and how many have been without that for a very long time. Opportunity to con simply connect in a small group can have a really large impact. And then risk. These students, along with the large majority of the undergraduate population, will be returning to the Berkeley campus. By hosting events in the evenings, we'll be providing safe, both COVID and alcohol and other drug-related events for students to connect outside of those concerns. GBO will begin, um, so GBO check-in also will occur on August 16th through the 18th. This actually happens before GBO starts on August 19th. Student, that individual date will often correspond with university move-in. So we know that students are moving in over those three days. And on the same day you check into university housing, we'd ask you also check into Golden Bear Orientation. And all students will need to have a green campus access badge to participate in person. We promise there's been lots of emails and infographics being sent to your student with clarity on how to do that. So now let's jump into Golden Bear Orientation. Golden Bear Orientation will officially begin on Thursday, August 19th and continue through Tuesday, August 24th. Note that fall 2021 classes will begin on Wednesday, August 25th. GBO is meant to be a holistic introduction to the campus community. We recognize that Berkeley can be hard to navigate in person, let alone virtually. We've designed each day of GBO to help your students explore resources, connect with a small group of their fellow incoming classmates, and meet continuing students, our leaders, and have fun. So we'll continue to utilize B courses, the same platform we use for Golden Bear Advising, Golden Bear Prep, to showcase the wide variety of events that students can attend. GBO will include both virtual and in-person events. Students can expect key events like welcome, convocation, college programming, and resource fair to occur virtually for everyone. Daily, students will connect in person in their small groups, have a meal, and enjoy a variety of our late night socials. If your student is a first year, they'll be paired with other first year students. Similarly, if they are a transfer, they'll be paired with other transfer students. For students living in the residence halls, their group will contain other students who live on the same floor or building that they're in. Students not living in university residence halls will have academic interests in common with their group members. So we're jumping into a sample schedule to see what it's gonna look like. So here's a sample schedule for a first year student. I'll go to a transfer in a moment. On Thursday, they participate in the Golden Bear Orientation Welcome, have their first small group meeting and convocation all virtually. They will come together to have lunch and socialize with their small group in person. After lunch, they will return to a virtual setting for college welcomes and break time on their own. This is the general format of programming um, with virtual being in the mornings and afternoons with in-person connection midday and evening and so continue through Sunday. On Friday, things get busy. They'll participate in Bear Pact, which is our violence prevention, alcohol and other drug and mental health education, campus department resource fair, My Golden Years, which is monologues by students and faculty, and on the same page, our common reading program keynote, all virtually. They will again gather for lunch and in-person connection midday and in the evenings. On Saturday, students will spend the majority of time in their small group. Their orientation leader, our OL, will be planning unique programming for their group. In the afternoon, students will engage with Bear Foundations, which is our key program on diversity, inclusion, othering, and belonging. On Sunday, students will have the option to participate in a variety of activities, both in person and virtually, focused on wellness, whether it be guided meditation, workout classes at the rec sports facility, or checking in with the University Health Services staff, it will be up to them. After lunch, they will engage in Bear Perspectives, which is a follow up to Bear Pact and Bear Foundations, and optional program programming about deepening their knowledge to prevent racism in our community. On Monday, they will participate in college programming virtually. Note that while a college may be hosting programming all day, the intention is that a single student would only have three to four hours of programming. At the end of Monday, they will connect in person with their small group for a meal, group closing, and final night of socials. As the group say farewell on Monday, all Tuesday events are optional. They're hosted by departments and are completely based on your student interests. We recognize that they may wanna take the day to rest up and prepare for their classes. I will highlight that if your student is a transfer student, their overall schedule will look a bit, bit different. Along with the programs I mentioned previously, transfer students will have access to a transfer welcome, Cal to Career Connections, transfer student panel, and an employee expo. I mentioned earlier the focus on equity. We knew when we built this schedule that many students, especially international students, may not have access to in-person programming during this week. Students were invited to share their challenges with us, and we would then grant them access to a fully virtual GBO. They will still get small group connection and late night socials, but those events would occur 100% virtually along with all the other programming. Throughout this entire week, our, scene, our behind the scenes staff will be available by email, as well as our in-person and virtual help desk to support your students. 
So you may be wondering what happens after bone bear orientation is over. NSS has made a commitment to continue supporting students and we do that through getting your bearings. So, In getting your bearings, events will vary by campus departments. There will be large scale events by Superb and unique events specifically that we'll be hosting this year for students who started in fall 2020 and spring 2021 who will be joining the Berkeley campus in person as well for the first time. So you may wonder, Golden Bear orientation and fall 2021 semester will feel new to many of us. We hope that you're able to participate in our live parent supporter session on August 9th and will continue to support your students during this transition. So here's some simple, simple tips to help your students succeed during Golden Bear orientation and beyond. Mark the occasion. Consider how you can help your student feel like a Berkeley student. Is there celebrations before they move up? Is there a big uh, special last dinner that you wanna have? What can you do to really make this a special moment? Give space. If you're able, really have students have uninterrupted time during Golden Bear orientation. So that might mean they could be busy all day long. And so they might not be able to pick up your calls. That's okay. Um, maybe find a time to schedule a chat just so they can fill you in on what they've been up to all week. And then check in uh, maybe at the end of GBO. So that way you can just see how they're doing. We know that there's a lot going on. They may be tired, they may be overwhelmed, but we hope that it's a way that they're feeling prepared and they've started to build a community so they know what to do once classes start on Tuesday, on Wednesday, excuse me. In the end, we want to celebrate that your student is starting their first semester as a Berkeley student and help them feel like they aren't alone. Our team is so excited to meet them. So thank you and go Bears.